Right, so I'm doing the side case, the Bounty of the Sea, where I've got to find those two other ships. At the moment, I'm at the Red Queen, and it is like a massacre. Look at it. We've got a huge-ass whale. Looks like it's had a chunk taken out of it. There's blood everywhere. You've got Red Queen, like, painted on the side. There's bodies hanging. Like, what happened? Oh, shit. That's what happened. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. That's what happened. What? Why is someone saying I'm mad? Are they blind? Do they not see the things I'm killing? Got him. Oh shit. Ah, you bitch. Just beat the shit out of him. Get off. Scum. Right, now I need to make more ammo. Take more... Or take some medicine. <sighs> Whoa. Oh, and a uh, grenade. And a Molotov. Right, well, I'm guessing those things cause this mess, this massacre. There's blood everywhere. There's dead bodies all over the place. And they got skulls on the side of the ship. What the fuck? And what's this? Red Queen ship log. The crew is planning a riot. They gather in groups, silent when I walk near, or sleep with pistols in arm's reach. The cook told me about the things in the fog. Never heard such nonsense. Nightmares and superstitions mixed in with gibberish. Who are they trying to fool? Locked myself in, the, in my cabin. I promise to shoot every bastard who tries to enter, but they have just gathered on the bow and started to chant something. Have they all gone mad? Can't stay focused any longer. They've been singing for hours and hours of our end. It only gets louder and I... I'm starting to understand. Blood. Blood everywhere. They drown me in blood. Well, that just sounds like absolute crackhead stuff. And that's all the evidence. That was it. And what the hell is this? Is that a buoy or something? Right, well, that, that's that. That was it. Now I need to go over here to the Skylark ship. Find out, well, get the log and I guess investigate, you know, as I do. Private investigator and all that stuff. And then we'll see if that guy's got any more work for us after I get the logs back to him. He might, might not. He said he bought these two ships. But how long ago was that? And did he actually buy them? And why does he want the ship logs for anyway? Like, I can't remember if he said why he wanted them. Because I remember he said something like, um, when I brought in the first one, he's like, oh good, I need the last bit of this on this page or something like that. Like, he needed something from that log. It's like, what do you need it for? Like, I'm not sure what this guy's up to, if he's up to anything. I feel like he's up to something. I'm not sure what he is up to, though. But I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. Because I'm sure he'll say something once I bring these logs back to him. Uh, okay, and then, like, uh, yeah, down that way. Because once I'm done with this side case, if there's no more after this, once I return the logs to that guy, then I can get on with the main case. And that's to the right, yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, just down the end of the street.
There it is. That's where I need to go. What? I didn't mean to do that. I barely flinched my gun at him and he freaks out. Someone unloaded the Skylark's cargo. And maybe they took the log as well. Alright, well let's uh, check the place out. See what's going on. Is there anyone here? Anything here? I keep hearing noises. Oh, there it is, the Skylark. Oh, and I'm guessing that's the log. Skylark ship log. Loaded the crates with machine details. Don't like the engineers. They look more like gangsters than sailors. The weather gets only worse. We are overloaded, and there is no way we can get to Oakmont before the tempest, wait, the tempest hits. Ordered the sailors to fasten all the cargo. Those rats open fire on the crew. They've doomed us all. How are we supposed to survive the storm with wounded men? K save us all. So they got ambushed? By what, the apparent engineers? Well, look at it, it's uh, like half sunk. Right, so that's all the evidence then. That's a huge ass crab. It's like a spider crab. All right. Oh, I can. Can I go inside? Okay. So, is there anything supplies and the like? Okay, well, I, I can't see anything downstairs, so I'll head upstairs. Wait, was there a downstairs? No. Uh, what is going on here? They're just Blair Witching, and there's nothing up here. What are they doing? She's, like, phasing through the wall, and he's just stood there watching. Crackheads, absolute crackheads. Right, well, now I need to head back to that, uh guy, right? Yeah, I need to... So I can fast travel back to him. Just outside the port. Something's off about this guy. I don't know. There's something going on. I feel like there's more to it than what he's... Because he hasn't told me why he wants the logs. But we're still giving him the logs. I can't remember if he did say why he wanted them. Well, I think he might have done, but not very specific. He wasn't very specific uh, specific on why he wanted them. Well, let's talk to him. Here's the log from the Skylark. The men who unloaded it were not happy to see me. Unloaded? You mean the cargo survived the storm? There were crates and armed men on guard. Looked like a local gang. I dealt with them, but it's not worth trying to claim your property. But all that cargo, a small fortune. Eh, perhaps you're right. It's better to be poor than dead. A wise decision. Here's the ship log from the Red Queen. I'd suggest it's best not to read it. That bad? Well, I only need the last page. Is it intact? Yep, all the pages are there. Great. Here's the reward I promised, Mr. Reed. Oh, I can ask him. Tell me about the logs. Now that you have all the ship's logs at your disposal, perhaps you can explain the reason. Why did you collect them? I suppose I... you've earned my trust. While drinking at the local tavern, I concocted a brilliant business plan. Well, we all know the booze only produces great ideas. What's the plan? I spent some bullets buying several lost ships from their owners. The dates in our treaties were slightly wrong. But who here could verify? And now it sounds like you're wasting good beer money. Wrong, friend. With these logs, I'll receive a handsome sum in insurance when I return to Boston. The companies will have no reason to refuse. Not a bad insurance racket, Vince. A man like you could go far. I always keep an eye out for opportunities. 
Meet me in Boston, and the first round's on me. Good luck, friend. See you later. Interesting, so that's why he wanted the log, so he can get insurance claims on them. Well, I, and I got a new outfit, that's cool. Or costume. Well, I guess it's not bad business. You know, he pays a small sum for lost ships. Even though, how can you buy a ship that the captain doesn't have or own anymore, really, since he hasn't got it? You're more or less just selling the last known location of where it was. But again, it's still good business, I guess. You know, you pay a small sum for lost boats off of, like, captains, and then you... Well, go to Boston, like he said, and then claim insurance. And they can't refuse it. Because they... Well, I guess they can't refuse it because they can't really prove... Well, because he's got what he needs to show he owns it. And they can't prove that it's a fake insurance claim. So they have to pay him. Not a bad little racket. Yeah, I think this is the right place. Oh, hi. Right. Yeah, it's definitely the right place. Oh, I'll just smack you then. Okay. Can't carry any more? Well, let me just make some. What about now? There we go. Right, so what am I looking for? A diving suit. Am I actually going to get to do some like scuba diving? Because that'd be pretty cool. Especially in some like early 19th century uh, scuba diving gear. Is that what I'm looking for? Or what's this? Oh, just gunpowder. This wouldn't even hold air for a minute. Right, so I guess that's not what we're looking for. At least not that one specifically. So, maybe upstairs. And I guess that helps too, that Reed used to be a uh, Navy scuba diver. I'm not trusting my life to a rusty suit. So it's not like he, he's going into this not knowing what to do. Or needing someone to tell him how this works and what to do. He knows it all himself anyway. So that's beneficial. Oh, that, yeah, this one looks good. I think we found our suit. Yeah, I'm just going to grab the entire thing and just shove it up in my uh, pockets. How are you even going to just grab an entire scuba diving suit and then it's just like, yeah, I'm just going to put that in my pocket. Uh, so what do we do now then? Oh, I've got two more places to go. A diving suit of the same type we used in the Navy. Old, but in a good state. I should be good down to about 100 meters in it. The expedition's final dive was made near a cluster of underwater rocks. Known as the Devil's Teeth. The Devil's Teeth are not far from the Oakmont port. I have the coordinates and so should be able to get there by boat. Oh, we're going all the way over there. Alright, well, let me uh, turn this bad boy around. Yeah, so we're going all the way out there. And you think. We're doing this despite being told what happened to the last group of people who went out there. Like, they all went mad and killed each other. They went insane. You know, they were disturbed. And yet, we're going we're gonna to go out there willingly. Despite being told what happened. And we're still going to go out there. Why do I keep hearing that weird noise? Mm -hmm. 
Looks like she died or something. Well, she's probably asleep. Alright, so I just need to, yeah, head to the port three. Where the massacre happened. And shouldn't we bring someone out with us? Just to be safe. Is that guy still there? Oh, he's still there. The mayor's curse these days. All right. Well, this is going to be interesting. We're going to get to scuba dive. All right. Here we go. Wait, what? Wait, there's land out here? I didn't realize there was land out here. Uh, what? What are we doing? Wait, this is how we're doing it. We're not just... Wait, is this how they did it back then? Did they not have oxygen tanks? I guess not, they must have had it like... But there's nothing on there, that's just a rope. So wait, we don't even go just like how they do it nowadays where you just jump off the boat and swim down. They hook you up to a massive like crane frame and then just slowly rope you down. Deep breath. Oh shit. Look at this fucking thing. The chemical lamps are nearly spent, but I reckon I can still follow them. Diving. The harping stun hostile creatures for a short time. Oh, there's enemies down here, of course. Flares light your way and can distract hostile creatures. R1, if damaged, hold to slowly recover your diving suit's pressure. So that's a flare, that's the harpoon. Oh, this is cool. I've never had to do this one, or do this before. This stone isn't natural. No. Could it be a statue? And his voice sounds weird as well, like he's inside a confined space, which he is, he's inside a suit. I can imagine doing something like this back then. Like, fuck that. I wouldn't trust it. Oakmont University. What the fuck is that? Look at that. Why are we down here? There's things like that swimming around. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go this way? Is this a way to go? No. What am I supposed to be doing? Do I just drop? Am I supposed to drop? Yeah. Well, I can't take full damage. I'm in water. Unless the suit's heavy as hell. Probably is. It looks heavy. And this suit looks like... So... Like, look at it. You've got all sorts of things. Like, heavy looking. Like, just... Big pipes and cylinders off the back. You could easily get caught on something with that. Oh, there's a dead diver.
So that's what I'm looking out for. That's what will attack me. So we got killed by some like fucked up looking thing. Oh, well, there it is. Is that a harpoon? Go on, pop out again. Okay, that's the flare. Well, I have unlimited ammo, it seems like. Where did he even go? It came out, it's like as if it came out of a hole, but there isn't one. So where did he even go? Don't know, let's go into the light. <sighs> what? Whoa. I'm not finished here yet. Oh wow, we're in an underwater cave. The scientists didn't even take their tools with them. Who the fuck is that? And he's acting like a rabbit. Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me as their aphid. Gods lean over us. What the Gods fuck? Crawl in us. Gods and there's another guy over there too. The suits are all cut up. So no one can leave. Well, hopefully no one cuts up my suit. And that's so cool how this, like, how this works, where there's, like, pockets of, like, caves. Like, there's places underwater where there's no water. What the hell happened to this person? A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throgmorton. Gotta take a picture. Ends mouth for attacker. A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throgmorton. So there's still people from his expedition team still down here. There's another guy as well. Can I talk to him? Sancta Mare. Be our eyes, eyes to see the distant stars. All right, well, he's lost his mind. Hark, he comes, the sacred full-bellied bearer of splendor. Take me, make me, I beg you. Bearer of what? Who are you talking to? What happened? Uh, our, our, our eyes, first, second. Third, opened by the aura. You see much, yet do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here sleeping. Cut the horse crap. Give me a straight answer. Nonsense. <laughs> but, but it is meaning that is meaningless. Open yourself. Walk. Listen. Pray. Wake. You holy worm, take his skin and skull for your home. Take my worship and grant your kindness, I pray you. What the fuck? You see now, do you, the splendid horror of the truth? A perfectly preserved artifact. Was it the focus of their worship? So it seems like they took something they shouldn't have. What? So this is like an altar or something? Oh, what's this? Well, let's have a go and figure out what happened. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. So it looks like they were followed by the cultists? How did they manage to follow them? Like, I know they're fish people, but can they actually, like, 
do fish like things like breathe underwater forget them get the seed and the seal now Okay. What? It's shivering. This? Uh, no! Uh, get away from me! I think I'm starting to get the picture. So these, like, fish people, whoever they are, are they the cultists? I think that's the... they're the cultists. We enter the temple the moment they take the keys. And they Forget followed them. these people get down the here and, and the took the artifact. Now. Okay. Shivering. This, uh, no, uh, get away from me. That's wrong. Unless it's this one. Okay. What? It's shivering. Then this one. This, uh, no. We enter the then this one. The moment they take the. Forget them! Get the seed and the seal now! That's wrong as well. That's, that's the first one. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Then it's that one. Okay. Then this one? Forget them! Get the seed and the seal now! The expedition found an artifact that drove them mad. And then the Innsmouthers stole it and the professor in one go. Interesting. But the Innsmouthers are cultists or some shit. Mine place. So the Innsmouthers attacked. The Innsmouthers ambushed the expedition on the seabed in the caverns they had discovered. They waited until Professor Doe took the artifact and then attacked it and then attacked. The attacker seized the professor and the object, leaving the remainder of the expedition to their fates. Okay, I'm not sure what decision to make. Abandon the survivors? I have to abandon the survivors. Their infectious madness is too dangerous to bring to the surface. They knew the risks. I mean, they did, but I don't want to leave them. But again, I their infectious madness is too dangerous, even though it's already up there. Can't leave the survivors to die here, even if their madness may influence others. This was not their fault. I say it was their fault since they took the artifact. I'm not sure what to do. Leave them or bring them. I don't know. I, f I don't know. I think it should be. I think it would be best to leave them, even if they are mad. I don't think it's a good choice to bring them. I'm still not sure. Can't leave them. I don't know. I don't know. I can't leave the survivors to die here, even if their madness may influence others. This was not their fault, sure. But their madness is infectious, and it is too dangerous to bring to the surface. I mean, I feel like the right thing to do is to save them, but I feel like, is it worth doing the right thing? When even the right thing can still be bad. I 
I think they have to be left behind. The outbreak of madness on Titania was caused by Albert's presence. The crew exiled him on the lifeboat to stop it. Albert Frogmorton was the source of the madness that made the Titania crew kill one another. The Innsmouth would know the truth about this madness and need the artifact and Harriet, the one who took it. It's too dangerous to save the survivors. The Innsmouthers or Harriet must have the answer about this madness. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Leave them to die. It's too dangerous to save them. <laughs> Again, I feel like saving them is the right choice, but... Saving them is the right choice, but I feel like it's not the best choice. Because... Their infectious madness is too dangerous because if I bring them up or they get saved, their madness can spread to other people. Because it's like, I could go with this one. I can't leave the survivors to die here even if their madness may influence others. This was not their fault. Sure, you can say it's not their fault, but that doesn't mean you should bring them up or save them because they're too dangerous. 